What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John Place here, and today, I think I'm in Pokemon. I... I don't really have a better way to explain that. So, in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, there are a bunch of master trainers. And yesterday, Gerard released a video, Gerard the Completionist, he released a video talking about the master trainers the localization team decided to have a little bit of fun. There are possible nods or references to several people as well as fictional characters in these games. These master trainers are references to people. There's a reference to the Game Grumps, there's a reference to the Simpsons, and the master trainer for Dratini in this game is a reference to me. So the master trainer for Dratini is Gerard, J-I-R-A-R-D, which is a unique way to spell Gerard, and that's Gerard the completionist spelling of his name, and it's the Dratini Master Trainer, which Gerard feels as though is very closely connected to him because of his previous playthroughs and a Dratini. If we head over to the Ghastly, Haunter, and Gengar Trainers, there is Aaron, Danny, and Ross. Some people may know them as being the Game Grumps, A-R-I-N, Danny and R-O-S-S. And all three of them in a row, eh, it kind of makes sense. I could definitely see the correlation. There's also nods to The Simpsons in here, and then just a bunch of other random trainers with a whole bunch of various names. However, that got me thinking about stuff because, well, the game Grumps and the Completionist, they're not specifically known for being, you know, Pokemon related, but they do play the games. Also, this game has been under development for quite a while, and while it was under development, I was in the good graces of Nintendo. Being a brand ambassador, having media rights, hanging out with Reggie in New York, bunch of stuff. I come across the Growlithe Trainer. The Growlithe Master Trainer in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee is named... Austin. Now, I'm not saying that this is intangible proof that the localization team named it after me. I never really had much of a connection with Growlithe either. Um, as you guys know, I my favorite Pokemon is Charmander. There's my Charmander in my shiny Charizard hoodie. So, the direct connection between me and Growlithe is a little vague. At the same time, I don't think they would name me after the Charizard or Charmander trainers. Charmander is Tim, Charmeleon is Christopher, and Charizard is Edmund. I'm sure that's that's a unique name to pick. There's also like a bunch of other nods to people, like um, the Pikachu master trainer is Aikui. I-K-U-E. She's the person who does the Pikachu cry sounds, as well as Eevee being A-O-I. Owie, who does Eevee's voice in this game, which totally makes sense. Also, this this Growlithe is totally gonna beat me. It got the poison off. On, it got the toxic off on me. Oh, that was a lot of poison damage, and the 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 dig. So we'll do a crunch, and now we'll start doing the digs to counteract the digs. I'll let you know how that goes in a minute. I haven't been able to find any use of the name Austin in Pokemon, except for two instances. One of them was a a shiny Dustox. Oh, Growlithe didn't do too well. One episode in the anime had a trainer named Austin, and it was a shiny Dustox. Let's Google this up. Uh, yeah, in the episode Crossing Paths, there was a trainer named Austin who had a Dustox. Obviously, Dustox is not in this game because it's only Gen 1. And the only other time that I found Austin, I believe he's the first trainer in Alola that you battle on, like, one of those first routes. So there is a chance that they named a Pokemon Master Trainer after me. I don't know. I don't know. That'd be pretty cool if they did. Pretty cool if they did. There's no way to prove whether it is or isn't named after me unless someone here knows someone on the localization team or their uncle works at Nintendo then we could clear this all up but until then I'm just gonna believe that they did I'm not gonna gloat about it or anything but in the back of my mind I'm gonna be like they put me in a Pokemon game 
and they made me an ace trainer because because I'm, I'm good at figuring things out like an ace trainer does one more thing that's a little bit weird so you know all the pokemon that you could ride in this game and how a lot of them make sense the one that really doesn't make sense is snorlax why can you ride snorlax and most importantly why do you ride him like you're hugging him kind of like totoro from my neighbor totoro yeah, there's been some fan art of totoro and snorlax but i'm pretty sure that the only time we've ever seen anything that looks like a totoro snorlax in an actual game was during the ultra lock with philly do they do they see my playthrough and we're like let's make it so you can ride totoro like snorlax should there be a Totoro Snorlax in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee? That sounds like something that we would see in an Ultra Lock. So yes, this is a unofficial a notification to you guys. I mean, I put it on my community tab and I put it in my Discord as well that we are going to be a, doing a Ultra Lock 2, not final name. And for it, I want your opinions, your ideas. Whether you hand draw a Pokemon or whether you have Photoshop or Microsoft Paint and you can paint something in. Do keep in mind for the Ultra Lock, we can't change the shape of Pokemon, but we could change the textures, how they look and everything else. Someone submitted this pretty awesome Arbok that they like to call Venom. Someone also submitted this Starmie, which looks like Patrick Star and Nightmare Fuel mixed together. And then uh, last night I came up with this Oddish Gloom and Vileplume. Things like that, if there's any fun creative recolorings that you'd like to see in a Pokemon game, you could join my Discord or tweet me at Austin John Plays with your own drawing of what you would like in the Ultra Lock 2. Yeah, so for the first time ever, a fan-made submission is going to make it into a Pokemon game. So this is kind of like... Pokemon put me in the game, I'm gonna put your Pokemon in the game. <laughs> so guys, what do you think? Am I the Growlithe Master Trainer Austin? Or is this just a big old coincidence? I wanna know your thoughts. Leave a comment down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Master Trainer Austin John out.